Next time you're at Dollar Tree, head on over to their sticker aisle. They have tons of selections, different styles, different colors, and for every holiday. I have a ton already at home, so we're gonna start using some of these with one of these circles that I found at the Dollar Tree several months back. I already used one of them, but I'm gonna remove one more, and we are going to then take everything from it, including the staples. We're just gonna sand it down just a little bit, the edges, and roughen up the front to make sure it'll adhere to the vinyl. We're gonna wipe it well, and then we're gonna use some of Dollar Tree vinyls you can find year round in different colors and even textures. We're gonna take a pink one that I have at home and I'm going to cover it up. Now you can paint it also, or you can paint it with one coat and then cover it with vinyl. This pink vinyl is pretty light so you can see the design underneath. So I did have to put three layers of vinyl. Very simple, just remove the back, place it on top, remove any bubbles, and then sand down the edges. You can also cut it with an X-Acto knife, but I have found that sanding it in a downward motion really removes that vinyl and it smooths down the edges. So I'm just gonna add the third one and do the same thing. These beautiful stickers have a rounded look to them. I love using these. They have a very feminine, kind of chic style. And I'm just going to pick one that I think will look really well. And it already has a little sticky pad to the back. You can always add a little bit of hot glue, which I will in next projects. But for this one, it'll stick just perfectly to the vinyl. We're going to place the remaining stickers right onto the little packaging again. And now we're going to bring in this yarn. I found this recently at Walmart. This huge roll was under $9. I thought it was a great deal. I'm going to roll it around one of these scrapers because we're going to create a little tassel. Then I'm going to take another piece of the yarn, thread it through underneath, kind of like in between the uh, yarn. And then we're just going to tie it in the knot. Once you have it tied in a knot, then we're going to take another piece of yarn and we're gonna tie it, leaving it about maybe an inch from the top. And that way we're gonna create a nice shape of a tassel. Then we're gonna open up all the little circles, just the little ones on the bottom, and then cut everything so that each of them have the same length. That's it. Now we're gonna take that remaining yarn from the top and we're gonna thread it through a wood bead. I have these at home, but you can find them at Dollar Tree as well as Amazon and Walmart. I push the bead all the way to the top of the tassel and then we are going to place it on the back of the wood round. We're gonna hot glue it in place, but I decided to add more tape. This is just by preference. I think the hot glue would have been sufficient, but just to make sure I did add some tape. Now we're gonna thread more beads to the top portion, but you see these here. Now this came from the original piece that I used. I'm just gonna remove those because they have different shapes. And I'm gonna add one more larger bead and I thought it was so cute. I'm gonna start with the largest one, thread the yarn through, and then move on to the medium size and then the two small ones. This is gonna create that nice cone look. I don't want it to be too, too tight, so I'm just going to wiggle it around until I see what I want. And then we're just gonna tie it in the knot on the top, and that's it. Such an easy craft, this would be great hanging on a door handle, or even just placing it on a console table. What do you think of this one? Let me know. Of course, this next Dollar Tree DIY craft, I'm gonna start with this beautiful pink jar. Now, if you don't have a pink jar, you can use any one you find at Dollar Tree. And I'm also gonna use a piece of doll that I already had at home. This foam is from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to start cutting it in a round shape wide enough so that it fits to the top of the jar, but not too small where it's going to fall through. Once I have the shape, I am going to poke the dowel right through the foam and then place it inside the jar and then just kind of tighten it down and really wedging that foam inside. I secured everything with hot glue. That way it's not going to move on me. Now I'm going to take a foam ball. You can find these at Dollar Tree. They come two in a pack. I'm going to poke it right onto the opposite side of the dowel. Once I had it where I poked it, then I'm gonna remove it and I'm gonna add hot glue and place it right back on. Again, this is just gonna allow it to really stick together. I'm gonna take some reindeer moss from Dollar Tree and we're gonna cover the entire ball by simply adding hot glue and then adding the moss. Just take your time, be careful not to get burned and then just cover the entire thing.
Once you have it covered, just pack it in nice and sweet. And then we're going to find some florals. Now, these I had at home. These are from previous seasons from Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut them and I'm going to start placing them. At first, I thought I would add different types of flowers. So I'm going to show you the entire process. But I actually ended up removing these. But again, I just want to show you. So these are the ones that I'm actually going to stick with. But these are a beautiful curl tone. They really pull with that pink jar. I think it's gorgeous. I'm just going to cut them and just start placing them inside the foam. This is when I decided to just remove them. <laughs> I grabbed another pick with the same flower tones and I'm just going to start again, continuing to add them here and there. I'm not worried about it being completely covered because I do like the way that moss kind of looks. I'm going to take some jute string and I'm just going to wrap it around four of my fingers. I'm going to tie it in the center with another piece of jute string. And then we're going to create a very country kind of style bow, fluff it up a little bit and just tie it around the neck of the bottom of the doll. This beautiful sticker set is from Dollar Tree. I already had it on hand. I'm going to use this one right here. I think it's gorgeous. It has the pink undertones that really pull from the entire design. And it has two stickies in the back. And we're just going to place it right in the front. I'm going to add some greenery leaves. These are just from the picks that I had on hand. I'm just hot gluing them to where the bow ends. And that way it's just going to cover up any glue and the foam from the jar. Look how gorgeous this is. It's one of my favorites. But let me know what you think. For this next Dollar Tree sticker DIY craft, I'm going to take this beautiful craft paper. Now, this came out of a book that I got. I believe it was Hobby Lobby or Michael's. And I'm just going to fold it that way. So we're going to turn it around into like a diamond shape. And we're going to fold the bottom corner all the way to where it goes about two inches past the midsection. I'm going to use my scraper to really fold it very tightly. And then I am going to take the sides and I am going to fold it inwards, making sure the bottom aligns and making sure that the corner goes just past that middle section. Same thing with the other side. We're going to create an envelope, fold it, make sure it aligns and that it goes past the middle section, just like that. We're going to do the same thing to the top. We're going to bring it down. We're going to fold it and then use a scraper to really make sure those creases are nicely folded. Open everything up and now we're going to cut those middle sections where both folds met. We're going to cut that off because we want those corners not to be so bulky. So I'm going to do the same thing on all four sides. And now that they're cut, it's going to fold very nicely and it's not going to be so bulky on the sides. Now we want to trim some of these edges here. So these are just the two sides. We're going to trim some of the top. We're going to go from the corner to where it meets the top portion of the envelope and we're going to cut that off. Again, we're just cleaning off edges and sides. That way it's going to fold nice and pretty. I did the same thing on the other side and now when you fold it, it's just going to look nice and clean and very neat. Now we want to remove that middle portion. So once I have it folded, I'm just going to mark with my pencil and we're going to remove that portion again just to clean it off. You can use an X-Acto knife, but scissors work really well. Now that it's folded, it's looking so nice. All right, so now we're going to take some double-sided tape. I get this at uh, on Amazon, but you can find at Dollar Tree as well. I'm just going to fold it onto itself and the two sided tape, it's going to hold it in place. So just add a tape wherever you need it, making sure that it's not going to glue to the inside of the envelope, just the outside, just like that. Once again, we're going to clean up some of these edges, just make them nice and neat. And we're going to remove some of the sides of this and we're just going to cut it again with the scissors. Now it's time to add something on the inside. Now I wanted to add maybe like a letter or something to it, but I decided to just go ahead and grab one of these doilies. Recently I did a Christmas video and it had doilies and I had some left over. I'm going to cut one of the smaller ones in half and then cut off one of the sides to make it nice and flat so it fits inside. This is just so that we can add something on the inside, but by all means you can add a letter. You can add anything you want to the inside. You can even add florals, which I think would be gorgeous. I'm going to use the same double-sided tape just to secure the doilies in place. And it looks so chic. I love it. All right. So now we're going to bring in this beautiful sticker set from Dollar Tree. It has just so many designs. 
this would be great for scrapbooking or even card making. So I'm going to take the one that says hearts and I'm going to place it right there in the center of the envelope looking gorgeous. Holy moly. All right. So now we're going to poke a hole to the top with my hole puncher and we're going to take some of this lacy ribbon from Dollar Tree. We are going to make a very simple bow. Again, we're going to keep it pretty simple. Once I have it in the shape and size that I want, I'm just going to cut off the ends and then we're going to thread more ribbon right through the hole. Make a very simple knot in the top and then we're going to hot glue the bow right underneath the little hole. That way it'll be nice and simple and so sweet and beautiful. This is one of my favorites. I love the craft paper and that heart sticker is stunning. It has a metallic golden look. Love, love, love. What do you think of this one? For the next Dollar Tree sticker DIY craft, I'm going to take another craft paper from another book. We're going to start cutting it. Okay, so I want to cut them in two and a half inches wide. Now, the first one, I don't know why I cut it into three inches. <laughs> so just, just cut it in two and a half. It makes for a much better size bookmark, but you can do it whatever you want. We're going to make some bookmarks. I love making bookmarks because they're easy, versatile, and they're great for gift giving and actually as party favors. So once I cut them all into two and a half inches wide, I did cut them into eight inches long. And then I marked where I wanted to cut on the edges at the top just to angle them. For the first bookmark, I'm going to take these flower stickers. They are gorgeous. They'll be great for spring and summer. And I'm just going to start placing different colors, different sizes in different places. Now, if they overlap the edges, you can either leave like that, but I decided to cut them and clean it off really well. I'm going to take this beautiful jute string. It's like a baker's twine, actually. I'm just going to tie it again around my fingers, and then we're going to make a very simple bow, fluff it up, and then we are going to place more string right through the hole that we punched in the top and hot glue the little bow right in front. So cute. All right, for the next one, we're going to flip it over, and we're going to use the dark side. These stickers are gorgeous. I've used it in the past. They have this beautiful flower arrangement one. We're going to place it right towards the bottom left corner of the bookmark. Now I had an, a butterfly left over. It had a metallic finish. I tilted it to the top and isn't that gorgeous? Oh my. All right, I'm gonna take some of this white jute string from Amazon. I'm gonna make another very simple bow, wrap it around, scrunch it in the middle, tie it with more jute string, and then we are going to thread more string through the hole, tie it in the knot, and then hot glue the bow right underneath. So simple, so easy, and so beautiful. For the third bookmark, we're going to make a fun one. We're going to take this beautiful sticker set. We are going to place the little banner. We're going to cut it in half and we're going to tilt them one to each side and it's going to look so cute. Then we're going to take the Be Happy sticker, place it in the middle and then some flower ones through the bottom. For this one, we're going to take some black jute string. We're going to do the same thing, my friends. We're just going to roll it around, tie it in the center with some jute string, cut off any excess. Again, punch a hole to the top, thread more jute string through it, make a knot, and then hot glue the bow. We're going to keep them pretty simple, but also similar to each other. I mentioned earlier this would make a great party favor. I think it would great a fantastic party favor. You can personalize them in the back. How fun. For the last one, this one is perfect for those guys in your lives. We are going to just make it very simple on the dark side again. This beautiful sticker has a farmhouse look. That's all we're going to put on it. We're going to take some black jute string, some white jute string, as well as some natural tone jute string. And we are going to thread it through the hole. We're not even going to make a bow, friends. We're just going to tie it in the knot, keep it simple and very kind of like manly, you know. And then we're just going to, again, cut off any excess from the jute string. And that's it. These bookmarks are gorgeous. You can gift them as a set or you can gift them individually or keep them for yourself, whatever you want. Definitely one of my favorites, but what do you think? Let me know down in the comments. My friends, I have another video here for you with tons more of Dollar Tree DIY crafts inspiration. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye. Your friends that this might take some time and you'll be back another day. I can
can see us breaking down the barriers.